What's up, guys? How's it going? All right. What are we going to do today? What we're going to do today is uh, go through everything. No, I'm joking. Today, we're going to do cube. I haven't done a cube video, so I'm going to just do a late game cube to show you guys exactly what I use because this will work all the way up until... Oops, I went to the wrong section. I started doing my dailies. So I'm going to do cube and this will probably work for any level. It's basically the team comp more than anything else. And then late game, it's more about what specific espers you choose. So I'm going to go ahead and skill up. If you've never done cube before, you do cube, you do levels. It, when you get to a certain stage, you can pick what runes you want to get and the runes buff your espers. And then when you hit a yellow rune, you can buff a rune that you already gra grabbed. So what do I have? I have reversal. You can read it. <laughs> hamstring. Is that hamstring? No, that's compared to all inca incapacitation statuses inflicted by allied espers to petrification, which is cool. Then we have single target ability damage taken by any espers distributed evenly. I would rock that if I didn't have speed because that's all that really matters in this whole game. Speed, speed, speed. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that. Nice. Next, I'm going to go the easy route, which is this left route up here. You just follow it all the way through and you win. Uh, you could choose the only, only difference between the two. Actually, it doesn't show it here. I thought before you would get a chance to actually get gold records. Maybe not this one, maybe another one, but I don't see it there anymore. I guess they got, they were tired of people getting free records there. So I'm gonna do the easy one. I'm gonna show you what I use. Okay, so this is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> this works for me because I've been doing this for a while. Um, so if you wanna know the team comp, it's Ali Dahlia, Gabby Gaius, uh, Li Zhang. I think that's how you pronounce it. We have her on crit damage, attack, attack. We have Gaius, crit damage, attack, attack, thunder. Gab, I'm pretty sure that's HP, HP, speed with accuracy, at least 60, 70 is good. We have attack, accuracy, speed. You could have anything for these two, as long as you have enough accuracy so she gets off her moves and make sure she's fast. So I have her own wind. And then we ha I'm pretty sure this is crit damage, attack, attack. And you could have thunder runes instead of uh, war. Uh, I'm sorry, instead of war set. So this would be something I use. Um, it works perfectly well because she puts the nether boon stacks and then Gaius blows them up. That's how I do this fast. That's not what I was going to show you. This starts to get really hard, really fast. So what I do instead is I swap some of these out for AP pushback. You need it. So I put in Apollo. Hmm. You could use some more. I take Aldalia and I put in Tricky because Tricky helps for the people that have passives. Main people that are the biggest problem on cube 8 is Clara. She just keeps on healing everyone until the end of time. So, we have AP pushback. We go first. Apollo pushes, you know, push back to AP. Clears them of any buffs that they have, like immunity. And if he didn't clear everything, then we have Tricky to do his skill 3. Which is going to clean up all the remainder um, buffs. Plus... For passive abilities that clear out um, debuffs that I put on them, he's going to petrify people. And then, of course, we have Gaius, which you can easily swap out for Chloe. Chloe is another good one. She at least applies buff blocker. And that's all we really care about. So I'm going to show you how this works. We'll do these rounds. And hopefully that'll be the whole video. And hopefully I don't lose, because that would be embarrassing. Now, if I lose, I will downgrade, which wasn't there before. So, props to Lilith Games for coming up with the downgrade option. 
Because before, you were just not, you were not even clear some cubes. There were some cubes where Donor just demolished everyone uh, for the last boss. You know, I don't know if you've looked at any of the stats for cube eight, or cube seven. Their health is 200,000, 300,000. Their attack is 13,000. So like if you have a Gaius last round as the boss, well, last round as the middle character, he's going to nuke your whole team and everyone's dead. doesn't matter how much uh, HP you have. So of course, we're going to see here. Got the AP pushback from Apollo. They're tricky to clean up anything that's left. No one's really clearing any buffs. So Tricky's passive is not really applying. And also, guys, again, he also steals buffs as well. Well, debuffs them. I wanted to do this video in real time, not sped up. Just so I can show you if things go wrong, what do you do? So. Nice, good round, awesome. So let's talk about something while my emulator takes forever to load. The runes that are in a cube are very important. If you get crappy runes, especially for cube eight, stage, I mean, level eight, and you might lose. It doesn't matter how good I am. I, I will lose, I would say one out of every 10 chances because I just got a bad rune load, load out. So the difference, Rune of Onslaught, when ally espers have full HP, they will ignore 30% of the target's defense while losing 20% of their own defense. I don't want to lose 20%. I just want to gain stuff. I don't want no negatives. So I'm going to do increased attack, 25%. And then when I get to the gold boosted rune, I'm going to bu boost the attack rune. I never use any of these new people. Well, available espers. And we get another rune. So rune of enchantment is awesome. I never used that before, but if you haven't been using it, combining it with the other rune that makes you go a couple times, it's just so awesome for first abilities. Allied espers gain one stack of charge upon casting basic ability, so skill one. Each stack increases basic ability damage by up to 30%. What? What? <laughs> Five times. 30%, 30%, 30%. Like, that's, that's crazy. So I'm going to get that. The other one is single target attacks by Ali Espers deal splash damage of 25%, which is cool. But I honestly don't need that. Because I have guys as my main damage dealing, and this doesn't apply to AoE. If you already do AoE, it's not going to do an additional splash. It'll work for my other guys, which I, I guess is cool, but I'll get more benefit out of the charges. So we're going to press go in there. And then we are going to do the next round, the next easy round. Uh, what do we have here? Scariest thing here is their Odin. Of course, you can see here. That's why. Accuracy is 15%, which is surprising. But that's not the end boss, so I guess we don't care too much. While this loads forever. Um, there's a lot of improvements they've done to this game, which I definitely appreciate. And as you see there, they had a couple members going first. I'm buffed. As long as our Odin doesn't go and clear out all my buffs, I'll be good to go. Cool. My Ollie chose the right person to attack. nice so we got these charges for basic attacks you see them pop up already more 30 percent, and it applies to Gaius's god form god king for his his skill one which is awesome and neath is dead taken out despawned turned into pixels cool nice chucking away and of course we got a boost rune again. I am could go for charge. That's really cool. It adds 10% chance of basic ability counterattack 
upon taking damage. Very cool, but I'm going to go for increased attack, um, boost it. Whenever an ally deals damage, increases all allies' attack by 1% up to 25%, which is crazy. It's just roll of the dice, and then you're buffed. We always want pluses, not negatives. Not a trade-off. At least for me, anyway. I'm going to do another easy round. Because we're just trying to complete this because we do this daily. Well, every two days now. It used to be daily. I guess we all were getting too many rewards. And this team kind of works with any other AP pushback. Or debuff. But you want at least Apollo. If you don't have Tricky, use Era. If you don't have Era, use... Uh, you could use Longmane. That's fine. Anything that stops them from going. You really want to have a speed lead, you could use Parmy. Parmy would be a great addition. She's a four star. We could put that in Ali's place. Ali's good. He was my first five star other than the one that you get from the beginning. And as you see here, a passive went off. So his ability took effect. And that's what we need. We're slowly making our way. And of course, you can always have Chloe instead of guys. They Generally do the same thing with the exception of guys outputting a massive amount of damage and cycling through his god mode and then his regular mode. Just a crazy strong character. I'm so happy I got him. It took me like 200 pulls, but I pulled him. All right, last round. So I'm going to show you this if you've never seen this before. Click on their little heads and look at 10,000, 11,000 attack damage with 60,000 health. Let's go to Unas, who's going to be faster than everyone on my team. He has 60,000 health. Oh my goodness. 110? Full accuracy? Almost full resist? What is this? That's 300 speed. 120 HP. Almost 90% accuracy. It's crazy. Like, this is crazy. If I lose, I'm downgrading. But this should work, okay? Um, as far as where passive goes, we don't have Clara. So there's not going to be any healing. So truthfully, if my team loses, all I have to do is just pick a tank team. And that'll be a fine example of switching it out. Hopefully this works perfectly and I don't have to do that. It might be a slow battle. I'm sorry if it takes forever. But uh, if it really does take forever, I'll edit the video so it just speeds along. But if, you, if we can watch this very slowly, I don't know why it's lagging today. I'm sorry. We have double immunity here. Let's clear that immunity right up. Of course, let's clear up any remnants. Then we want buff blocker on everybody. Buff blocker didn't go off, which is terrible. And hopefully, nope, this is not going to work because we have no healing whatsoever. Unas gets taken out. That's good. Another good thing. You know, honestly, Sun Wukong might kill us all. Because he's just so powerful. And that's okay. You know, sometimes if you lose your main team... Doing another team immediately after that is not the end of the world. That's honestly why we have a lot of espers in this game. Full petrification. That's awesome. It's no surprise when this guy in the middle is doing 11,000 damage. <laughs> Somehow we're staying alive. We have that AP pushback so we can keep pushing his head back. <laughs> and this worked. I am so happy. As long as he doesn't nuke us at the end. AP pushback. Yes. Look at Apollo. Apollo just pushing that head back. <laughs> Risky, but it worked in the end. And that's really it. The basis is just being fast enough and pushing them back enough. As far as AP. And damage. Buff blocker, of course. Because if buff blocker wasn't there, Unas would have kept cycling his uh, immunity for the team. I hope this video helped you out. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm, you know... I'm always here to answer any comments, questions that you guys have. So always feel free to comment. Um, I'm also trying to get up there on the subscriber. 
you know, list. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna have a counter that I'm gonna put on my video so you guys can see. But uh, other than that, enjoy. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna do a Shadow Gale video as my next video because I've done all the other ones and I'm just gonna put out the third one. It may not be Expert++, but I'll have an updated video for that. See you guys later. Peace.